Welcome to another day of trash picking. And I'm hoping it's gonna be a good one. Let's see what we got. We got a cord we can cut in a minute. I don't know if I wanna bore you with that. Hmm, how about this scooter? The Dino Zoot Scoot. GT used to make the Zoot Scoot, but now Dino makes it. It's a high quality scooter, I'm gonna take that. Ooh, look at this. A pickaxe head. Skateboard. Skateboard's too far gone. Inside the garbage bag, we've got... Eh, nothing, really. Let's see. Low voltage bar lights. Nah, we don't want that. Some boots. Look at these tires. Holy cow. These are giant tires. And look at this one. This one looks like it's brand new. There's no doubt in my mind. Look at the rib on that tire. That is a brand new tire. So we're not in the market for tires today. Oh, here we go. A Thule bike rack. It's kind of beat up, but I don't know. We might be able to sell it. And then these plastic and metal folding chairs that are not broken. So I would say this first pile is a smashing success and I'm gonna sort through it and get loaded and I'll see you at the next one. I really hope someone takes those tires because if they don't, I'm gonna to have to figure out a way to wedge them into the car later. I mean, that one tire, the brand new one, that's gotta be like a $200 tire. All right, do we want Seinfeld seasons one and two? Are the discs in there? Tango Discos de Seinfeld. Yeah, that's what you gotta do. You know the discs are in there. I think season one and two of Seinfeld kind of sucked, but I'll take that anyway. VHS tapes we do not want. Um, some of them, most of them we don't want. Lots of CDs. <laughs> George Winston. Oh my god, boxes of CDs. And see how they were nice? They wrote CDs on it, which means that it's not just empty crap. All right, David Bowie, let's dance. Miles, De all right, box sets never, ever have the discs in them. Never, 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 never. <laughs> yeah. Have I been doing this too long or what? But yeah, we got a lot of CDs there. I don't know what's in here. Um, crayons? Is that worth anything? If you sell that at the flea market, it's gonna be some melted crayons. I don't know. These two boxes of crayons and colored pencils, or two bags, is that worth a dollar a bag to someone? Probably. Sheets, I don't know. What's the directive on old sheets? Someone cut the cord over here. Anything in this? Nah, I bet there was something cool in there before though. And do we want the Sony little CD player? Nah, no, cause we don't know if it works or not. So we will take the CDs, the DVDs, and I guess that's about it. But this is a pretty good score. All right, I was sorting through these CDs to get them all boxed up to go, and I saw something I've never seen in like 20 years. Remember this mild Davis set with no CDs in it? Look, there they are. That is unprecedented. This is so adorable. Look, look at what stations they listen to. NPR, CBS, 1010 Wins. I got this out of this pile over here. I don't know. Magnavox, compact disc changer. Let's see. Yamaha receiver. Little crappy projector. Everything's got the cords cut off of it, but I don't know. Maybe I'll take that Magnavox. Some of these old CD players are worth a couple, two, three dollars, right? 
So there they are, the Magnavox What's This and the back of the Yamaha something else. And there's like a box of other stuff over here too. I don't know how I feel about audio gear, but I still pick it up. I probably shouldn't, but whatever. It's almost six o'clock and I've been out for over three hours and I swear I've stopped at like four or five piles, if that. It's such a slow night tonight. It happens. There's those chairs we took earlier. I didn't record this basket. But it's never too slow or too busy to stop for some orange spaghetti. Look at this. See, you could put a new plug on this, but I've priced out these plugs and they cost like seven bucks at Home Depot for like a good sturdy one. So for that, it's probably not even worth fixing. But I'm glad to have it. Even if it's the only thing I've found in hours. Let's see, there's some bags. Think there's anything in these bags? Hmm. Rings and books. Nothing in those bags. Is it weird to take a garbage can out of the garbage? I mean, it is a New York Yankees garbage can. What do you think about this one? It's not too rusty. It's not too dented. It's not too filthy. And it is super slow tonight, so uh, go Yankees, I guess. I'd love to tell you that things are picking up out here, that I'm finding more and more stuff, but I'm really not. I mean, I guess I could take this thing. That's like two pounds of aluminum. What about these? These are nice steel spikes. Those are like tent spikes or something. The one thing that I really wanted to look at over here, look at this hard hat. Isn't that cool? I mean, I don't know if it's valuable or anything, and I'm not gonna take it because it's so beat out, but like some dude went to work every day and wore that and earned a living. I don't know, maybe he was putting up tents with these tent poles, who knows, but we're really scraping the bottom of the barrel today. So please forgive me if this clip is uh, not all that exciting, sorry. What do you think about this bench? I'm probably gonna say no to this bench. I mean, first of all, the wood is actually pretty solid. I could probably break it off if I had to. The bench ain't that great. It's kind of flimsy, but I've already got probably half a dozen of these in my yard right now. No one seems to want. So if we add up the difficulty factor of taking the wood off, the condition factor, the rust factor, the quality factor, I think that's a negatory on this bench. But, uh, you know, maybe if I ever get a van, I'll come back and pick it up, right? It took way too long to finish this route, but now that we're back at pretty much the first pile, look, my tires are gone. My big stack of expensive tires, they're all gone. Oh, somebody took them. I'm glad they did. We already found a bunch of audio gear tonight, so you wanna go look at some speakers? See what we got? Hmm. Let's see. They're vintage. Wood grain made by Sony. Hmm. Sony System SS6. You know, I'm gonna have to say, uh, thanks but no thanks on the Sony's. You want to do some vacuum cleaner cords? I don't know. There are three vacuum cleaners here. They have all cords on them. So I guess... Whoa, this one's gonna be tricky. It's even more tricky when you drop your uh, cutters. Wow, this is... A lot of stuff going on here.
to like the prehistoric days of vacuum cleaners when they didn't have like a little cord releaser. But you know, we're troopers. We're gonna get in there and get it done. There's, wow, that's dirty. What do we got here? All right, back to the 21st century. You turn the knob, you pull the cord, and you cut the cord. And yes, I'll take the uh, plugs off them in a minute. Just wanted to walk you through the process. All right, across the street here, I see these two dumb fire engines. Do I want these? Oh my God. So they're kind of cool. I think they might be like remote control or something, battery operated. But they're totally plastic and they're filthy. I don't know, what do you think? Yeah, I guess we don't really have much else going on tonight. And I think what happens with these, I don't think they're remote control actually, I think you put batteries in them and then they make noises and stuff. So all right, we'll take these two filthy fire trucks. How about this? Do you want that as a thumbnail? Can we do that? Trash picking for two filthy fire trucks. Yeah, I'll take it. One thing leads to another. I wanted to check out this table, which is why I pulled up to this pile. And this table is, uh, well, it ain't nothing. And it's like broken in half. But while I was cruising by before I stopped, nice mower by the way, I saw this, uh, you know, this is what we call delicious orange spaghetti. This thing is dirty aluminum. It's scary. So I wouldn't have even really seen these because I was going down a different street. But because I wanted to look at that table, I found myself some excellent additions to my scrap metal collection. All right, years of experience coupled with the fact that we're in a pretty decent neighborhood, coupled with the fact that this thing looks kind of cheap. What do you say, brass or no brass? Oh, it's brass. See the magnet sticks to the chain, but it doesn't stick to the rest of it. I kind of thought it wasn't brass. What about this thing? Oh, that's brass, but it's mostly glass. So you want brass, but you don't want brass that's mostly glass. Because that's a pain in the... I haven't looked. But we're going to play guess what's in the blue box. I'm going to say it's a croquet set. With croquet balls. What do you think? Do we know how to open it? Wow, I couldn't have been more wrong. It's like a little picnic table. You unfold it, you can sit on it and have a picnic. Well, I don't have any friends and I don't like eating outdoors anyway. So, what's in the red box? Nothing? <laughs> yeah. Story of my life, there's nothing good in the red box. Um, are there any used car parts in this box? Oh, look, a little coilover. Isn't that adorable? And some springs. All right. I got it. Oh. I don't need to scoop any fish. So we didn't get our croquet balls because I was way off on that, but we did get, you know, some scrap metal. It's raining now, so my new camera might get wet. But you know what? Sometimes you go to an outdoor cafe to eat orange spaghetti and it starts raining. I mean, what are you gonna do? End your delicious meal? Ask the waitress for the check? No, You're just gonna keep on enjoying your orange spaghetti outdoors in the rain because it's delicious normally i would cut this big cord off this electric stove on camera because it's kind of fun to like watch me struggle with it 
but uh, it's still raining. So I'm gonna have to cut it off camera because I don't want my camera to get too wet. You guys understand, right? So at this point, the rain has stopped, but the sun went down. And unfortunately, I don't really have enough footage just yet to quit recording for the night and make a coherent video. So we're gonna do night picking. Look at this, that is a nice brass faucet. Usually these little cast iron sinks just have crappy, like half brass faucets on them. This one's nice. And let's see, where are we gonna put this thing? On top of spaghetti, a cast iron sink. Can we fit it in the trunk? Yeah, sure, I think. So it is like nine o'clock. The rain is gone, but it's real creepy out here. The lighting's all weird. I don't know. Really haven't found much today at all. Let's see. What brand is this? Um, it's unbranded maybe? Usually there's a brand on these things. So on the back, Pioneer, all right. Do I want a wet Pioneer stereo? I don't know, maybe. Once it's been in the car in the sun for a while, it's not gonna be wet anymore. All right, I think I will take the Pioneer stereo that's wet and the orange spaghetti. I mean, this is all we're finding today. Not that I'm complaining, but like how many extension cords can one man find in a long day? A bunch. All right, let's see what we have here in our creepy, no longer rainy evening. Hmm. Bose speakers. That's a pretty good brand. The Bose Freestyle Speakers. All right, I'll take those. I'll take those Bose. Oh, I thought this was an extension cord right here. But it is just a hose. Yes, we will take the Bose. We will not take the hose that's near the Bose. What about the bat? Oh, I knew that wasn't gonna work. All right, it worked. Should we take that? It's like a softball bat. Yeah, I'll grab that. Do I want a bunch of wet Nerf guns? I don't know, that's a lot of Nerf stuff. It's like a whole barrel full of it. Yeah, I think I'll take that. And then in here, I don't know, fireplace tools. Let's see what's that. No, I'm not leaving those down there. Don't get mad at me. I don't know what that is. Somebody's bay window. Empty packages. Put that back in there. And the garbage bag. Nah. Little hobby horse thing. No. Let's see. I don't know. This Nerf stuff is iffy. And like spray painted and whatnot. Yeah, I think I'll probably leave that, but I will take the speakers. They don't look wet, so they probably just came out. What do you guys think? You like the night picking? You don't like the night picking? You know, I got a friend who picks up these uh, these fertilizer things. He sells them for like ten bucks each. Broken shop vacs. I guess I'll cut those cords. Hmm. Echo weed wax. I don't know, what do you think? Hmm. That feels viable, economically viable, so maybe I'll take that. Whoa. Got some gravitational issues. And trash cans are garbage. Please take them, thank you. I cannot accommodate that. 
And what do you think? Does this Schwinn have anything we need? The Schwinn Byway? Uh, I don't know. It's not really my cup of tea, but I haven't found a bike tonight, so I'm going to take it. So that's it. Night picking? You like it? You don't like it? I don't know. So it's not exactly super late, but it's just kind of like annoyingly wet and dark. So I think that I'm going to call it quits on the video. What do you, Should I take this remote control truck? They never buy them unless they work. This will be our last little dig. Looks like their lantern's still working. Got some extension cords in here. Drop lights and whatnot. Wow. I hope they don't look outside and think I'm making a mess. People only look at you when you're in the middle of making a mess. They never give you the benefit of the doubt that you're going to clean it up afterwards. But you know what, I'll take that risk. We got a bunch of wire. Alright, that is a mess, I'm going to clean that up. What else do we got? Pallets, a paddleboard thing. Cat litter? Yeah, that's what that is, or sand or something. A lot of sand around. Fish and tackle box. <laughs> it's wet enough to go fishing. Feels like a creek out here. Alright, that's enough junk. Somebody give me two, three dollars for that. Ooh. Don't get your finger caught on the hooks. And I guess that's the end of the pile. That's gonna be the end of the video, unless I find anything like really great after this. So Appreciate you guys coming along with me while I'm trash picking. Until next time, enjoy the spaghetti and thanks for watching.